I have been a spiritual seeker for most of my adult life and um, uh, have been practicing a non-dual philosophy for the last five years of my life. That has helped me quite a bit. Um, so I am, I feel like I was in a good place. I before I came here I was in a place where I felt more at peace and um, more comfortable with myself less suffering in life I have a good friend that lives in Carmel and she was having some Kundalini experiences and she sent me an email and asked for me to visit her so that we could talk about it and when I went to visit her, um, she told me about Igor. She told me that she has found out about Igor and she has been talking to him and he has been quite helpful. And she thought that I would be interested to meet him. At the time, I had listened to him a little bit uh, on YouTube and thought that he did make sense, but I really didn't need any more information. I already had all the information I could have gathered. So I thought, nah, I will pass. But um, the day before I came here, I had the opportunity to talk to Yogananda and um, he told me something that convinced me it, this was, I was interested to come and see what Igor had to offer. Do you feel comfortable telling him what it was that he told you? Um, well, I told him that I wasn't interested in more information, that I was already practicing a non-dual uh, concept or philosophy, and that I was doing good. I wasn't necessarily looking for a teacher or looking for more information and asked him if he had anything to tell me that why give me a good reason why I would be interested to come and see Igor. And he told me that um, Igor was going to show me the other side of the coin and actually bring the non-dual concept together with this physical world, the world that um, in non-dual philosophy we believe that it doesn't exist but in real in some kind of reality we live in this body and we do experience this every day so um, and that he is a yogi and I am into yoga and I do practice yoga and it just seemed like yes bringing both of these concepts together and um, learning how they are related and uh, interwoven they are each one leads to the other and they are not separate from one another sounded like um, like a good concept sounded like something that I would really be uh, interested to explore so that's why I came and tell me about your experience here what's it been like um, Well, um, in the seven days of being here, I have to say By listening to Igor, I, um, the light has gone on in my head many times uh, around subjects that I already knew but that I had put in the back corner and wasn't thinking about it. It was like another book, yet another book in my bookshelf, you know. Um, and when he talked about it, the way he so eloquently talks so poetically so beautifully and that he speaks the truth the universal truth all of a sudden the light just turns on and I am faced with the only choice that I have 
there is no doubt anymore. It's kind of like the way is shown finally. And I have arrived. And also he has a way of touching your heart. Because again, he speaks the universal truth. It's not his truth or my truth or somebody else's truth. It's not a philosophy. It is the only truth. And when he speaks it, um, it just goes right through your heart. And um, you surrender. You surrender in, in the opening of the heart and the flow of the light and grace that just pours out of you. It has been a tremendous experience, I have to say. Honestly, if anyone has always been in love with truth, beauty, and grace, if anyone has had a questioning mind and no answer has quite uh, pleased um, their intelligence and touched their heart to the point where the heart would open up and just light will come out of it, they have to meet Igor. They have to meet him because he just has, has that, that in him. He is, um, he's kind, he's beautiful, he's full of love, he's honest, and he speaks the truth. And being in his presence is definitely a blessing. And I really have never looked for a teacher and I am not the follower type. But I have to say, I can proudly say, I accept him as my teacher and I surrender to him now. And I am very glad that I have met him. Well, the meditation is something I have in, in this sense and in this form I have never practiced before and experienced before. It started with uh, deep breathing and um, some of the techniques that um, Igor taught us, but then um, slowly it moved into um, sounds coming from all over the place and some of these sounds were very soothing and some of them were not so soothing but very uh, nevertheless very expressive and there were times when I felt like I was enjoying uh, the the noise and the sound and there were times when I felt like I was being invaded by aliens and so it was both scary and pleasant at the same time but I honestly was trying to figure out what to do with it. And it didn't take me that long to figure it out. I thought that I could either resist it, which is not why I was here, and I know better, or I could find a way to make friends with it. So I started to kind of thinking that I should better surf on the sounds and just go with it and see where it takes me. And I have to say, it has been magical. I mean, it has um, opened my chakras in a way that they have never been opened before through meditation. Um, I really honestly feel the flow of energy going through my body and pouring out of my head. And the fact that it is spontaneous and I can move my body, which is something that I love to do, uh, just makes it even more attractive. So meditation is no longer a thing to do, a homework to do. It seems like this kind of meditation for me is something that I actually look forward to. And um, it, it is wonderful. It has been a great experience. Uh, but of course, anyone that is not familiar with it, um, you know, it may scare them at first, but 
um, I invite everyone to try it. It is, it definitely works. It's amazing.